things that K-beauty and Asian beauty in general is well known for is affordability, right? I mean, you can really find great quality products from any budget at any price point from $10 all the way up to two, 300, 400, sky's the limit, right? You can really find a product to suit every single budget. But I think some of us do look at those really, really, really affordable products. I'm talking maybe you think they're cheap products, right? We look at them with suspicion, like maybe the quality of the ingredients isn't as good, or maybe there's a lot of hidden fragrance or alcohol in those ingredients lists. So give this video a big thumbs up because today I am shattering those illusions. I've got five really affordable Asian beauty products for you. They are fragrance free, alcohol free, essential oil free, plus they all retail under $20. <music> Okay, first up is a super popular product, perhaps even a cult classic, if you will, in the Asian beauty community. We're hitting up J Beauty for this one, and this is the Hada Labo Goku Gen Oil Cleanser. This is so popular, and it's easy to see why. I mean, this retails around $14 and sometimes under. Super affordable first cleanser to remove your sunscreen and makeup. Now, this um, features olive oil, hyaluronic acid, and jojoba oils to get the job done. And I must tell you, finding a not only fragrance-free, but essential oil-free and alcohol-free Asian beauty like first cleanser, not that easy, especially if you're looking in the like $15 and under category. It's not super easy or I guess super common to find a fragrance-free and alcohol-free first cleanser. Uh, so this is a great ingredients list in my opinion, but let's talk about how it performs. Texture-wise, this cleansing oil is not as lightweight as say another classic, which is the Face Shop Rice Bright Light Cleansing Oil. That's a very thin oil. This is not as thin as that, and yet, on the other side of the spectrum, it's not as thick as DHC, another J Beauty cleansing oil. This is nicely in the middle, so it's a very medium weight oil that spreads across the skin very easily. And really one of the hallmarks of this product, at least in my opinion, is that it's such an effortless oil cleanser. And what I mean by that is you really don't have to work it into your skin if you don't want to, you know? Sometimes we like to work it in because it really seems like it pulls up all of the gunk out of our pores but I'm digressing here. It's an effortless cleansing oil in the fact that, especially when you're trying to break down makeup, you don't have to work that hard for it to melt down, especially that eye makeup. This is not something that you have to rub and tug at your eyelashes to get all that heavy mascara off. This just works so effortlessly. You know, just a little bit uh, of working in and that's all you need. And this rinses cleanly. Always my fear with those thicker oils is that, you know, they're, they're gonna leave a film or they're gonna be hard to wash away. And this just washes away so cleanly. And again, effortless is the word that comes to mind with this cleansing oil. It's simple, it gets the job done, and it's so affordable. Early on in my K-Beauty journey, I discovered skin food. Skin food, such a classic and popular Korean skincare brand. And they do often have a lot of affordable goodies in their line. Particularly, they are well known for affordable wash-off masks. Their wash-off masks range anywhere from about $10 to about $15, and they have a lot of really classic ones. They've got uh, the rice one, they've got honey, black sugar. They're really well known and classic products, well loved for years and years. But there is one skin food mask that I'd like to particularly single out for this fragrance-free under $20 K-Beauty list, and that is their coconut sugar sugar mask wash off. Now this is a little bit more unique in the skin food mask family because this is fragrance free. This has no essential oils and there's no alcohol in this either. You will find fragrance, artificial fragrance particularly, in other skin food masks, but this one, I'm happy to report, does not have fragrance. Now this is harnessing the power of coconut. We've got a really good moisturizing benefit from coconut oil. Plus, this is a hybrid wash-off mask. This is a physical scrub meets 
wash off mask. So there are little very, very fine and gentle coconut flour sugar particles in here with a little bit of coconut pulp that's been ground down very, very fine. This is actually really geared towards sensitive skin. So this is not a rough physical scrub by any means. Now this can actually be used a couple of different ways. You can use this like just a straight up scrub on your face and then wash it off. You can also use this as a leave, like a, like a wash off mask that you put on for 10 minutes leave it on and then wash that off. Or you can do both. You can put it on, scrub a little bit, and then let it set for 10 minutes and then wash it off. So there's really a lot of flexibility with this kind of concept. Personally speaking, I'm not a huge fan of physical scrubs for my face. My skin is sensitive. However, that pesky nose area <laughs> always gets those darn blackheads. And while chemical exfoliation is definitely the best to kind of get in there and clean out the pore from the inside, I must admit that you can get a pretty good uh, instant result with a little physical exfoliation. And so I don't mind doing a little scrubbing around my nose with this, especially because the particles are very uh, non-irritating in my opinion, but I love this as just a straight up wash off mask. I mostly just put this on my face and let it sit and it is so moisturizing. This produces such a nice foundation of moisture for my skin, and this is so affordable. I mean, this one I think usually goes around $13, and I gotta tell you guys, you know, I love that I'm from Honey Mask. Super expensive though, that's like $34, but I love how moisturized it makes my skin feel and how calm it can uh, make my skin feel, especially when I have irritation due to dryness. However, this mask, while I would not call this a dupe by any means, is a very good alternative to that mask, an affordable alternative, because this gives me pretty much the same feeling, that feeling of nourishment on my skin, that foundation of moisture. So this is just such a great mask. This is also uh, has like a bonus use in my book because you guys know I love to use wash off masks in the shower to protect my dehydrated skin from the steam and the hot water. It's a great way to kind of build like a moisture shield on your skin. And this mask is great for that because it's got such great cling. It is a thicker mask. I would almost liken the texture to like, Mmm, peanut butter? <laughs> Actually, when you open it up, it kind of looks like peanut butter, but it's got that good cling and it's not gonna drip when it's exposed to heat and steam. It's not gonna drip down your chin or drip into your eye. So this is actually a great uh, bath or shower mask. And I actually, it's so great at that. I actually leave this on my the side of my bathtub because it just performs so well for shower masking. If you've been a long time fan of this channel, you know, that this product was gonna make the list. You knew it was going to because I talk about this all the time. I have been using this product for years. This is the Mise en Snail Repair Eye Cream and I can't get enough of this. This is such a great high quality eye cream at such an affordable price. This jar retails for like 12 or $14. Not only that, that's affordable in and, in and of itself, right? But they've also got a slightly smaller size, a tube version that is seven dollars seven dollars i mean who can't afford a seven dollar eye cream right this is so accessible and yet when you look at the ingredients list if you just looked at that ingredients list and didn't know what the product was called or saw the packaging or anything you would probably think that this was a much more expensive eye cream than it really is because the ingredients list just reads that good. So of course, no fragrance here, no essential oils, and no alcohol. I hate when alcohol is in eye creams of all things, but you can find it, but not here. So um, star ingredients here, it's definitely going to be snail mucin, right? We've got 80% of snail mucin being used. Now this is, you may be like, why would I want that around my eyes? Listen, you want this around your eyes because snail is very, very good for fine lines in particular. It's got a really great benefit for preventing fine lines uh, in wrinkles on the skin. Not only that, but snail is itself a very reparative ingredient for skin, and that's a very good for your thin and delicate eye area because it's much more prone to skin damage, particularly like damage to your collagen structure, which 
leads to fine lines and wrinkles. So this is an excellent ingredient to find in an eye care product. We've also got niacinamide here playing a pretty big role near the top of the ingredients list. Niacinamide is a fabulous ingredient for eye creams, particularly it's being used, I believe in this eye cream for a brightening benefit. Niacinamide, very good to help brighten up and make the eye area very even toned, which is great. It's not gonna have a huge benefit on really dark eye circles, but it's going to help, right? It's gonna boost the brightening benefit of the cream. This also contains antioxidant in ingredients. Antioxidants are fabulous for protecting your skin. They're reparative for your skin, but they're particularly good for protecting in combination with sunscreen from UV damage. Plus we've got peptides. We also know those to be great uh, fine line fighters, right? So this is an amazing ingredients list for a very affordable price. Now the texture of this is fabulous. I love this. This texture, it looks like a cream, but it really feels so lightweight and hydrating on the skin, but not so hydrating that it wouldn't be protective enough for your skin either. It's just the right balance with this cream between hydration and moisture, but the texture and the finish of this particularly is so good for an eye cream. I mean, this sinks into your skin immediately. You don't have to like work it in, which is good because you don't want to be messing around too much, like rubbing anything near your eye area. You want to be gentle. So this allows you to just kind of tap, 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 and it's, it's in there. It's absorbed. It's a very it's very hydrating and plumping for the eye area, which is great if you do have a little bit of fine lines. If you plump them, the appearance is going to diminish and it's particularly good for makeup application because it won't settle so much, uh, like your concealer won't settle so much in fine lines if you plump them out first. So this is great makeup prep. Not only that, but you know, it's not sticky and it's not greasy. Don't be confused by that snail. There's no stickiness or tackiness to this at all. It's very elegant formulation and it's not greasy. Some really moisturizing eye creams particularly can get thick and heavy and greasy in the eye area, making your makeup and sunscreen slip. And I just don't experience that with this. Honestly, when people ask me for eye cream recommendations, regardless of budget, I usually start with this one because I know this is gonna work for almost every skin type, almost every eye concern. You know, it's just a really good universal product to start with. The fact that it's affordable is just such a bonus, honestly, for such great ingredients and texture. Next up is the TM Arbitin Blending Powder. This is a really great way to treat your dark spots at a really affordable price. It's about $9, so, so good. So let's talk about Arbitin because this is a really effective uh, skin brightener. This is particularly good for those of you who struggle with hyperpigmentation and sun damage, especially older sun damage. This can be a really good ingredient for you guys. Arbitin is better at treating those types of of discolorment on the skin than niacinamide is. Now, Arbitin, when you apply it to your skin, it converts down into a compound called hydroquinoin, which is one of, it's regarded as one of the most effective compounds to use for uh, for correcting hyperpigmentation and sun damage. But it's usually only available by prescription because it tends to be very intense, right? It can really dry your skin out. It could be irritating. And there's a lot of drawbacks and side effects to using that, that particular uh, prescription ingredient, hydroquinoin. Arbitin, however, when you is it's actually derived from a berry. When you put it onto your skin, it naturally converts down into hydroquinoin. Because of that conversion process, it's a lot gentler on the skin. You will get similar brightening benefits, but with a lot less drawbacks. This is basically a really similar uh, situation to uh, retinol, which you can buy in the store, versus prescription tretinoin. It's basically the same kind of idea here. So this is a much more gentle alternative to a prescription for hyperpigmentation. Uh, ingredient. Now there is 2% of niacinamide in addition to the 5% Arbitin in here. Now the niacinamide kind of helps the Arbitin work just a little bit more effectively, but it's also going to bring its own brightening kind of game, right, to the formula. And the niacinamide is just going to help give your skin an overall really bright and even toned appearance. What I particularly really appreciate about the format and the delivery of this product is that it's a powder. So the way that this works 
works is you just blend this into your toner or into an essence, a serum, and apply it to your skin that way. And what I really love about this is I don't have to accommodate another layer into my skincare routine, like another texture, in order to use this product. Because I use this one to two times a week. I'm not using this every day. You could, but I just personally don't. And when it comes to doing a multi-layered routine, you got to consider how layers affect the rest of your routine, right? If something is heavy or sticky, you might adjust your serum to something a little bit thinner and lighter weight, or maybe you don't do as many layers of like toner or something, right? Like you have to adjust to accommodate a new texture. And that's what I love about this because it's like a no brainer adding this into your routine. You don't have to think about it. You just put it into your toner, essence, or serum and just mix it in and apply it all in one. You're not adding another step. So this is just a really great way to get your brightening benefits. Oh, you can make a little spot treatment out of this too. So this is a great one to have on hand. You don't have to invest a lot to get your brightening treatment and to help with your sun damage or hyperpigmentation. I think we can all agree that finding an affordable sunscreen in Asian beauty isn't that hard, right? We know there's a lot of great affordable sunscreens on the market today because there's such an emphasis placed on sun protection. There's gonna be options for every budget, right? However, we do tend to complicate things <laughs> with the ingredients, right? Because a lot of us prefer, you know, no fragrance in our sunscreens, hard to find no fragrance. Then we have to kind of like dodge the essential oil thing, right? Then one of the biggest kind of like potentially bad ingredients, potentially for some of us in sunscreens is alcohol. That's lurking in a lot of sunscreens. And I know some of us prefer to avoid silicones. Those are in a lot of sunscreens too. So it can kind of be difficult to navigate that space, even with affordable products of sunscreens that really fit the bill for us ingredients wise, which is why I'm really happy to add to my affordable KVD list, the unscented Purito sunscreens. We've got their chemical Centella green level unscented sunscreen. This uses two chemical filters, Uvinyl A plus and Uvinyl T150, which are very photostable chemical filters. Plus, we've also got the unscented Comfy Water Sunblock. This is their mineral sunscreen using titanium dioxide and zinc oxide. Now, both of the sunscreens are rated SPF 50 with a PA of plus four. Both sunscreens, remember to get the unscented versions because they do have scented versions on the market that do contain essential oils. But both of these unscented versions contain no alcohol, no essential oils, no fragrance, and no silicones. They are both water-based sunscreens, so they've got a really pleasant and hydrating texture to them using hyaluronic acid and glycerin. They uh, both, I would say, have minimal to no white cast. Both of these sunscreens on my skin tone do not show a white cast at all. I would say that the, I've noticed on the Comfy Water Sun Black, on some reviews, some people have said there's a whisper, a whisper of a white cast. I personally didn't notice it, but there is always that possibility with mineral sunscreens, but it's very, very, very minor on this one. Um, these sunscreens have such a pleasant texture to the skin. They absorb quickly, they dry quickly as well. They work so well with um, makeup um, on top of them. You know, they, they really have very minimal pilling to them on reapplication. Now, I will point out the fact that the Comfy Water Sunblock is probably best suited for more oily skin types. The reason that I say that is this it has a little bit of sebum controlling properties to a little bit of oil oil control to this. The finish on this one, I call this like a semi-matte finish because it does have a little bit of shine control to it. But because it has that oil controlling property, it's not really gonna be suitable for dry or dehydrated skin types who don't have extra oil to spare on their skin. This could potentially make you feel a little bit drier or uh, tight skinned uh, towards the end of the day because it's probably just not as suited for you who don't have that much oil to spare. But for combo oily and uh, classically oily skin types, you'll love that this does not make you shiny at the end of the day. The Centella 
Stella Green Level Unscented Sunscreen I think is a much more universal finish even for oily skin. This is definitely the one you want to go towards if you have dehydrated or dry skin though because this doesn't take anything from your skin. It doesn't have oil controlling properties. That's actually coming from the zinc oxide in the comfy water sunblock and we don't have that ingredient here. This is what I call a neutral finish sunscreen. It is not dewy by any means. It's not adding any dew to your skin or any shininess to your skin. Conversely though, it's not taking anything away. It's not controlling your oil. So I find this a neutral finish. It's neither going to add to your skin nor take away. And for that reason alone, I do find this to be suitable for all skin types. So if those sunscreens sounded good to you, maybe what I'm about to say next will sound even better. So you know I've been a big fan of these unscented sunscreens and the Centella unscented sunscreen particularly is like the only sunscreen I put on my face these days. It's just that good for me. I've actually partnered with Purito to bring you guys a giveaway. Yeah, a giveaway for these sunscreens. So the giveaway is being held on Instagram and this is gonna be winner's choice. So if you're one of five lucky winners, you get to decide which one you're gonna try. Is it gonna be the Comfy Water Sunblock, the mineral sunscreen, or are you more of a chemical sunscreen person? Is it gonna be the Centella Green Level Unscented Sunscreen? You get to decide if you're one of five lucky winners. So I've got all the details about the giveaway in the info box below, so don't forget to check that out if you're interested. Plus, I've got a link you can follow right over to Instagram so you can get yourself entered into the giveaway. And before you go, please let me know in the comment box what's your favorite affordable K-Beauty product that you just keep coming back to time and time again. I'm really curious to know, so don't forget to leave that in the comment box below. If you made it this far in the video, you love Korean skincare, but you're not subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing. I release two new Korean skincare focus videos every single week. And don't forget to turn on notifications so you're never out of the loop when I release the new videos. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day. I cannot wait to see you in the new video and we'll talk soon. Bye guys.